my channel. Today we're doing a red lip with a gold metallic eye. Why? Well, because this inspired the look, okay? You can't go wrong with red lips. I have a bunch of new products that I am going to continue to try and review. I am wearing the Shop Missé AOA Studio Liquid Lipstick, one dollar, and a lot of cool affordable products all over my face. I will give you a mini first impression on the Pro Matte for extra dry skin. Yes, people, because I have Sahara Desert skin. I feel about it, so stick around. And these lashes, 53 lashes, you need them in your life, okay? So stick around so I can bring you in and tell you all about it. But they're pretty much awesome and you need them. If you would like to learn how to recreate this look, give me, just, let's take a second. Can you see that? You see that right there? Yeah, it's awesome. You need to learn how to recreate this look, so go ahead and keep on watching. I really like red lipstick. It makes your teeth look so white. All right, guys, I already prepped and primed my eye. We're gonna go ahead and get started with some Coastal Scent Hot Pots. We're gonna go ahead and go in with Bronze Peach. Next, we're gonna go in with Light Taupe, and we're only gonna use this for the outer edge and start building to darken. For the lid, we're gonna start off with our colors dry and then wet them to intensify the color. Go ahead and start off with 100 Karat Cosmetics Bronze Goddess. And we're gonna lay this all over the lid. Go ahead and wet the colors and start working that wet pigment all over the lid one more time. Next, we're gonna go in with 100 Karat. And this one is like a gold glittery color. Focus this color just on the center of the lid. And to finish off the very center of the lid, we're gonna go in with So Chic. Grab any darker brown shade, but I just have this one near me. It's the Elf Mineral Bronzer in Tan Toffee. And I'm gonna go ahead and darken all around the eye and kind of diffuse it. We're pretty much done with the eyes. We're gonna go ahead and do the face and then we'll come back. Guys, we're gonna go ahead and finish the eyes. I don't know why it's looking like I'm a white ghost on camera. I promise in real life these colors don't look as white. Like they actually, like I look normal. All right, okay, one second. Do you see this highlight right now? Under eyes, we're gonna go back to those colors we started with. So the bronze peach and the light taupe and we wanna kind of match the bottom of the eye. Oh, we always do smoky here. To brighten up the eye, we're gonna take that So Chic color and we're gonna run it in the inner corner and right at the beginning of the eye. Go ahead and wet the back of my hand and then wet my brush. Finish off the eyes, we're gonna line the waterline with the Jordana 12 hour pencil in Tenacious Brown. I'm gonna grab some of that brown and just smudge it right underneath the waterline so you can kind of blend the pencil. Alright guys, so I'm back. We're gonna finish off the lips and then I'm gonna tell you all about these lashes. Okay, we're gonna go in with the Jordana Easy Liner in the color Sedona Red. I'm feeling like a really bright red, orangey lip because we have gold. Gold going on. Huh? 
Red lips always make me sweat. Go in with the AOA Studio Wander Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is from Shop Must Say. It's the color Crush. I have not tried these out. I got a big, huge uh, liquid lipstick and different color, different haul. So I will be trying them out for the first time. It doesn't smell bad. It smells like possible candy, candy smell. Let's go. So far I like this formula, it could be that I had a little bit of the hydrating lip balm that it took a while to dry and it's kind of wet right now. It's kind of like candy, it's a smooth formula, I would say that it takes a little bit to dry. Uh, I don't know how water resistant this is, but I really like it. I like the shade. We're feeling really extra today. For our look, we're going to go ahead and spray with their Scandinavia spray to seal. Let's talk about these lashes. These are the 2053s. They start short and they end up like kind of catty in the edges. I have smaller eyes, but I chose to keep it a little bit longer on the edges so it could lift and elongate my eye, but I could chop it off and just keep the normal shape. I really really like these lashes. They are a lash that is about midway between a light lash and a heavier lash because of the shape of it. The front of the lash, it doesn't really seem that heavy. It gets a little bit heavier towards the edge of the lash, but it's only to elongate your eye. These are one of my favorites. I put these on clients most of the time because it is favorable for a lot of eye shape. If you have smaller eyes and you do a lot of work on the lid, if you put a lash that is too round, it's gonna cover up your work. And I feel like with these, you can kind of still see my work and you get that cat eye effect. I absolutely love these. If you need them into your life, find all the products that I used and this amazing highlighter and eyeshadow in the description box below. So we pretty much sealed the deal. I have a lot of stuff to review. If you follow me, I will let you know all the little things that I find. The thing I'm wearing right now was $1. I have a whole bag of good stuff that I haven't even gotten to open, so I'm pretty excited. This is the first time that I actually try the Pro Matte Foundation. I got the shade 101 and 102, and I mixed them to get kind of like my skin tone shade. Um, what I was worried about is that a lot of people were saying that if you had dry skin, this was going to be horrible. I feel like this is similar to the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. Um, I usually use a lavender and glycerin spray or rose water and glycerin spray to kind of prep my face so that kind of hydrates and it's kind of like a good sticky base. I still use primer. But I feel like with that combination, this doesn't feel as drying right now. And that's because I have Sahara Desert skin. But so far I like this. I don't know uh, if in the daylight I will feel differently, but right now I feel like I look pretty good. What you think? If you absolutely love this look, go ahead and comment down below, subscribe, like, and share. Why not? Make sure to follow me on all my social medias. Instagram, Snapchat, and Facebook, and thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.